now is the latest social media site to suspend President Trump's account after Twitter, Facebook banned him from posting indefinitely. This morning, there is plenty of backlash, though. People claiming those websites are violating the president's First Amendment rights. Here's the thing. Those websites are private companies. Therefore, the First Amendment right does not apply to them. Lawmakers have discussed making changes to Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. This measure shields tech companies from liability for making decisions involving what users say on their accounts. We are dealing with technology that we've never had to deal before. And we are dealing with the core values of our nation. And those are meeting in one moment. And we're seeing the impact that that could have on who we are and the future of our country. For more information about the social media bans, you can go to our website, cbs4indy.com. There we also have links posted regarding Twitter and Facebook's terms of service agreements.